Welcome back everybody. In today's video, unfortunately, I have some bad news. It looks like Taco Terry is back at it again. Now he's out of jail and he did not learn his lesson the first time. And this time he's teaming up with Kevin. Now I'm not going to say his channel name because for some reason, every time I say his channel name, YouTube thinks I'm disparaging his status and then my video gets demonetized. So we'll just call him Kevin for today. And in today's video, they get removed from one building, they get denied access to another, and as usual, they're acting like petulant children. And this brings us to the sponsor of today's video, Aura. What I'm about to tell you is extremely important. Last month, AT&T sent an email to their customers saying that 7.6 million accounts have been compromised and that personal information has been stolen. It was later revealed that it was actually 73 million current and former customers who had their info leaked on the dark web. The stolen information contained full names, email addresses, mailing addresses, phone numbers, date of birth, and even social security numbers. And that's why when a situation like this happens, you need Aura. Aura scans the clear web and the dark web and automatically sends requests to remove your information, therefore protecting you and making sure you don't become a victim of identity theft or scams. And Aura does all this plus so much more for your cybersecurity, all for the low price of 12 bucks a month. When it comes to your personal information online, you have to take it seriously because victims of identity thefts are often out tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars before they can resolve the issue. So it's better to solve it before it even happens. Luckily for you, you can try Aura for free for 14 days by using my link in the description and in the pinned comment. So don't wait until hackers have your information and try out Aura today. Now back to the video. Alrighty gang, what's going on out there? It's a beautiful Wednesday in downtown Annapolis. We're back with the one and only, the angry vet came down do a nice little collab video uh my first ever collab audit an actual audit i've done collab videos with other auditors but never an actual audit so let's get out here and get to it so first of all you guys can see they went all out with the costume so you have kevin who is impersonating a journalist and you have taco terry who is impersonating a human He's also mentioning that this would be his first audit that he does as a collaboration. And we know that is complete bullshit. He has never done an audit in his life. What they refer to as First Amendment audits are nothing more than childish pranks. And we all know that by now. So I don't know why he's trying to maintain the charade. This is him. So this is where I came in. I was in this little front lobby right here and all the people were like freaking out. Um, you're not supposed to be here, here, right? What's up? Yeah, I'm supposed to be here in the lobby. I'm allowed to be in the lobby. Are you sure? Yeah. I'm, I'm pretty sure that you're not. That's what I was just explaining to him that I'm allowed to be here in the lobby. That's what the police already, uh, that's what the police already, uh, instructed. I'm, I'm listening to you. You can't hear me? Get one of the good, good flavors. But yeah, anyway, so this was the place that I came to and they were freaking out in here in the little lobby and shit like that. Yeah, oh, we're good, Kev. I was just showing you the... Alright, well, I gotta, I gotta get going. I'll, uh, I'll give you a call back later. Alright, thanks. Can I help you guys? No, no, we're all good. I was just coming to grab a lollipop real quick, that's all. Yeah, I want a lollipop too. And Kev wants a lollipop too. I want a lollipop. Oh, dum dums. I know, I got the last blueberry. Dum dums. I was just showing him some of the old stomping grounds, that's all. Yeah, we're uh, we're coming in to take the... Uh, we're going on the old... Art and stuff like that. We're going on the old Annapolis Marathon. Yeah, Annapolis Marathon. <laughs> since uh he was wronged so yeah we just want to come check it out up here check some stuff out and you are my name is tony warner i'm the vice president of hr hr okay of the of like this building no so he works for break key oh okay that's specifically uh and they, they handle like government contracts oh, and stuff like that Get a picture of this. who did this i know it's beautiful I don't know. I know, normally they got like little signatures in the corner or something like that, but. All right. 
This one Thanks did not. Lot, guys. Thanks, okay. Mr. Tony. Yep. You, are you guys doing like a competition to guess how many jelly beans are in the jar? Or? We already did that. Did you? Who was the winner? Uh, it wasn't me. No? Man. Uh, <laughs> how many was it? What was the count? 2,700. 2,700 fit in there. My gosh. That's 2,700. I'd have never No, someone probably got eaten out of there. So what's going on here is you have the two employed adults who are looking at the two unemployed man-childs and they're telling themselves, okay, these are probably just village idiots. They're playing dress up. They want candy. Let's just give them their candy and get them on their way. We have other shit to do. And that's the right way to handle this because clearly these people, they're not working with a full deck of cards. I mean, for you to play dress up like that as a grown man, there must be something wrong in your head. So it's best to approach a situation like you're dealing with a dimwit. Anybody like the licorice flavor ones? They don't like us. I know, they hate us. You would think like we were rude or something when we came up here. Man. That's what I'm saying. I'll call Van Halen when we take a break. I know, no right? No cameras or recording Sorry. devices allowed in this office. Restricted area. Oh, she's trying to get in. Restricted area. I think that's false. I've been in there with a the camera that's, before. That's that. Yeah, that's wrong. I've been in there with a the camera before. That's wrong. I'm laughing at us. Are they? You guys got any lollipops down here? Guys, they got any lollipops? Excuse me, guys. You guys got any lollipops? Got any lollipops? No. no. No? All right. No. Why you got a sign here that says uh, restricted area? You got all these You got all these public people in here. Is this restricted? This area right here? For videoing, yes. For videoing. It's restricted for videoing? Yes, sir. Huh. So, so I, I, can't, what I can't stand outside the door and video inside in here? Did I say that? I just can't stand in here. Well, he was asking. He didn't say you said it. He was asking. So, it's a simple question. He just said that I said No, no. video taken in here. I don't know why people are so ridiculous. But you guys, but you guys are videoing, aren't you? There's a, there's a video camera right Kevin, there. Kevin, this nice lady's trying to get in there. Go ahead. You can go in, ma'am. You're fine. All right, now we'll continue. We'll continue. But that that video camera right there, are you allowed to video in here? Why can't why can you video but we can't? And here my analogy of them acting like man-childs really really makes sense because they see an area that's restricted, they can't record there, and just like a child, they really really want to get in there. It's like if you tell a kid they can't have something, they absolutely obsess over it. They just cannot accept the fact that they cannot have it. And this is what we're seeing right here. Well, I think we don't feel comfortable. You, really you don't feel comfortable? No. What about their camera? What about their camera? You feel comfortable with their camera, but yeah, not mine? Do, do you know that I have access to that camera for free? I don't care. So what's the difference between that camera and my camera? I'm giving you permission, and this is a private area. Are you giving them permission? Yeah, I am. You gave You're them permission to film you? You signed a permission you slip when you walked in here. here. Okay. You're being very disrespectful. Hi. Very no, I'm, just, I'm asking Hi. logical Hi. questions, ma'am. I'm just so curious. there's no cameras here. You engage. You engage in a conversation. Exit the building. I'm not in it. The building? No, no, Excuse we're fine me. in the building, Mr. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, not sorry. the What's building, please. What's yeah, yeah. That's. I will not disclose that. You're not gonna disclose. Call the call the police, please. Comptroller, huh? <laughs> no, she just has the comptroller uh wristband. Excuse that was me. All. Can you close the door? Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Excuse me. It's, it's a public are, door, isn't it? Could pub. you close the door, sir? It's public access. Sir, I need you to. Uh, what's your name? Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna <laughs> ask you to leave. You're gonna ask us to leave. Yes, I'm gonna ask you to leave. All right. But I was just saying, you know, see that Mr. camera Chris, up there? Mr. Chris, can we just ask a logical no, question? Uh, you, you can ask all the questions you want. You can go to the Elbow yeah. No, no, that's you fine. Yeah, right. we'll go. Where's we'll that? go deal with Miss Kate down there at the at the or Hilly Raftovich down there at the at the city hall. Is that who the city ombudsman is? Hilly Raftovich. Uh, she might be Kate, the city one. Yeah. Kate, city ombudsman. Yeah, she might all be right. the city one, but. Um, uh, no, yeah, so Mr. Chris, what, 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 is the, what is the issue? No, I don't have I'm an issue. I'm just asking a question, Mr. I'm Chris. Just that's wondering, all. I'm just wondering. There's no issue, brother. Why, it's just a question. Why we can't record in there? Well, you try to go in, ma'am. 
Mr. Chris, there's a nice lady trying to there's a nice lady trying to enter. I didn't want to be, I didn't want to obstruct the doorway. That's, that's all. That's all I'm asking. Did not want to be obstructing the doorway for the nice customers. That's all. I was just wondering. No, no one wanted. Okay, hold on. First off, calm down. Second, first off, no one wanted to come in here and record. First off, no one wanted to come in here and record. I just wanted to ask a question. We just asked a question about the sign you had on the door. Yeah. Hence why no one's even stepped into the threshold of your building yet. No one's trying to come in there and record. We just had a question. Right. Okay. Why you guys have the sign so what's, when you what's, have public... What's the question? You guys have a sign that says this is a restricted area. There's no filming allowed, but yet you have publicly accessible cameras in your you lobby. Camera right so I was there. just asking why you guys had the sign up when you yourselves are filming and in violation of your sign. No one tried to come in That's for protection of our employees. Protection of your employees. But if it's all accessible through Public Information Act requests, what's the difference between my camera and that camera, ma'am? You need to get in here? You're not. You gotta go in, boss. That camera is for our security. But I have that access to that. camera is not for... But I have access to that camera. No, you don't. I do, for through really? a Public Information Act request. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Yeah, what's I do. Your, I'm sorry. Well, I don't even know who I'm talking to. Ooh. I'm Rose Klein. I'm the Hi. section manager. Hi, Klein. Klein. Nice to meet you, Miss Rose. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. Wait, you're not allowed to come in and record. Yeah, like I said, we never attempted to come in there. But here's here's a question thrown to uh -huh. you. Like, what's the difference of recording out here through the window, through this big window, and being a couple steps in and recording? What would be the difference? This Just is public private information inside here. You're not allowed right. to record in our office. And that's that's the Comar and that's the rule. Yeah, but well, we don't set those policies. You know, we're, we're not going to personally set those policies. All right. Just I, the rules. I understand. Um, so, I mean, technically, there's to... technically there's not a policy that says that. Yes, there is. Well, we're not going to yes, argue with them. Right. We're not going to. So here, Kevin says we're not going to argue with them. We're not going to argue with them because he knows he has no argument. He knows he's wrong. He knows he cannot prove his point of view. So what he does is he just wants to concede victory, and that just shows that this guy doesn't stand for anything. He doesn't even want to argue that he's right. Uh, yes, there is. Um, our deputy comptroller found it. Yes, there is. All right. Okay. But yeah, like I said, don't. And your don't, name was? I'm sorry, I didn't get Mr. Chris. Chris. Oh, okay. But yeah, I didn't want you guys trying to put that evil on us and say that we were trying to film in your building because, well, as we when stated, I, when no I'm one's attempted upon to work. And I'm trying to protect my office. Yeah, but this but but I don't want you. Uh, you already said you were going to call the police, so I don't want you going down there and putting false narratives. He, he told someone to call the police. I don't want anyone putting false narratives in our care and trying to say we were no, videotaping we're in your building because no one ever attempted to break the, 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 the threshold you. of the building. Mm -hmm. That was all. But yeah, we just had some general questions just regarding curious. the sign. That's what I was just curious. That was all. Why we couldn't come in and film. We tried to ask the guys film. at the counter. They just freaked out for some yeah, reason. They, they don't know how to have a normal yeah. conversation. I mean, you got to understand the way the world is right now. So anybody coming in with a camera and dressed I know, like right? A, uh, it's not like they sit uh, on camera 24-7 while they're at work, right? The way... The, the, that, possible what? That looks like a uh, bulletproof vest to me. Y'all go in, boss. You can go in. Y'all yeah. can go in. Yeah. Miss Rose, Miss yeah. Rose, could we let these nice folks in real quick? I'm sorry, yeah. she's on crutches. I didn't want her standing out there. We're just being very cautious. Yeah, yeah, well, us too, us too. We're we're cautious for the people. That's why we were curious about the That's sign. Why we're protecting our people, our taxes. Yeah, and we're and protecting and we're protecting the rights of the citizens of this great nation. I'm at least trying to. I'm trying to get some answers to why, you know, the press wouldn't be allowed into yeah. a public lobby. See what I'm saying? You would have to schedule it. Because right. right. I've already spoken yeah. to Mr. David, who owns the building, mm -hmm. about this multiple times regarding, mm -hmm. you know, Mr. Van Allen's office and Bright Key and, and the city well, auditor. Mr. David can contact our comptroller and he can make arrangements if he was going to allow it. But um. Well, no, no, that was kind of my point. I've already spoken to Mr. David. We've already mm -hmm. established and the police have already come out here and established that this is a public building. That mm -hmm. because Mr. David owns it, he leases it out to these public entities. It becomes mm -hmm. public. Uh, a public forum we have we're the right to film agency. yeah, so yeah, yeah. we're protecting the right yeah, yeah so you're a state are. agency so that means you're funded by this yeah you're funded by taxpayers and uh -huh. stuff like that miss worries that's all okay can so i like can normally, i get a business card from back there please you have a business yeah, card? i just like to get business cards sure. from people and maybe a, maybe a correspondence on who we can reach out to on who set that policy so we can attempt to get that reversed for the people you can uh, contact the comptroller or the deputy comptroller i'm sure it's who, what's in, her name uh, comar our Comptroller of Maryland, yeah. Yeah. Brooke Learman. And what, that's right across the street, isn't it? That's right here across the street, right down, right mm -hmm. around the corner, right across in the Rundle Center, right? It's the Comptroller building? Yes, sir. We'll make a little okay. stop on over there. All right. Nope, I don't need that.
Yeah, we're not trying to cause any problems. We yeah, we never tried to come in, Miss Rose. We just wanted to know, you know. That's fine. I understand. We're just uh, we're just generally curious people. And we're not either. I think we're we threw them off when I asked if they had any lollipops in there. Yeah, we're, we're, I like we, we like lollipops. We like public candy. I think it upset them. Is uh, <laughs> public candy's free ninety nine? That's the best. <laughs> <laughs> We're just being proactive. Yeah, and care yeah of you got to go in there. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah, Sorry. All right. Thank you, Mr. Chris. Thank you, Mr. Chris. Uh, Y'all have a nice yeah, week. Okay. You guys have a good day. It's home day. Yeah. Enjoy the rest of your week. All right. <laughs> this guy came out of the senator's office. So the employees there did a fantastic job at protecting the regular citizens from these dimwits. Now we're going to move on to the next encounter that happened just across the street where once again they're getting denied and removed. So that's uh, I'm sorry, first of all, you gotta have permission and you gotta be signed in with the security guard here. Yeah. Are you with the press? Yeah. yeah. Does it say yeah. press? That doesn't mean anything, you got ID. Yeah. Please check it you with the security you, guard. You, you want my ID. Do you want my ID? Then do you want my ID? I think you have to show ID. Who are you? All right, now let me ask you. Hold on, no, let me ask you a serious question. Let, hold on. You just breached the door without permission. No, I, I didn't. But now let me ask you. Let me ask a logical question because you just came in here, guns are blazing. You have a sign right here that says all, all visitors are required to register with the police officer. Right here. Now, how would I get to this sign without walking through that door? You said I did. That's been maybe, all changed. Well, maybe you should. Right maybe you guys should move the sign somewhere maybe else then, huh? Maybe you should move that sign before you come in here. Piggyback and just... through security when my, when I went out the door. What? Piggyback through security. The door is wide fucking open, dude. Oh, that's we don't profound in the state building. Yeah. Um, please watch your language. I'll watch my weight and my blood pressure. Besides that, you watch your own fucking self. Ooh. You can remove them now. Like, bro, you came in guns. No, no, no. You came in guns a blaze and being ignorant when you're wrong. Don't sit here and tell me no, I need to watch went, anything. You, went, breach the door you accused me of breaching security, sir. There's a sign right there. Not on the outside of the building. You're right. I need to calm down, ma'am. There's a sign right there that says all visitors need to come and check in. How would I read that sign and know to come check in unless I walk through that door? Exactly. Okay, thank you. Exactly. So I didn't breach any security. That's the front door. You fucking dumbass. Yeah. Relax. All right. You I'm need to. Please call the FCP. I've just been. You just been, You've just been harassed. Your feelings are hurt. Oh my god. Oh my god. Let's call it. We got a grown ass fucking crybaby over here. Keep it. Keep it going. We got a grown ass fucking crybaby over here. You're not allowed to be in there, sir. That's private area. These are these are public art installations. No. What Not without escort. <laughs> I'll, I'll go down and get the city. I don't need no chaperone, homeboy. I'm good. Like, now I'm pissed off because he's being an asshole, dude. He's being a dickhead for no reason. How you, how you doing, ma'am? Here's the public bathroom. Here is the state treasurer's office that you get to. You don't need to be escorted. You don't need to be anything, dude. Fuck this guy. Dude, the moment he came in guns a blazing trying to accuse me of breaching security and being in, like, commission of a crime, dude. I, I, I'm over it at that point. I don't give a shit what he has to say. I don't give a shit so what that boy has to say. Correct, that so why is there a sign over there that says all That visitors. was moved for work. It has to go back. Oh, maybe you should move it then, huh? And maybe you should secure that door. Yeah, maybe you should secure it. It is secure. Maybe there should be a sign. This whole argument that there needs to be a sign for everything is completely ridiculous. There's no sign that says don't shit your pants right now. Does that mean you should shit your pants? Of course not. You have to use something that's called logic. But unfortunately, we're in 2024 and with frauditors, all logic has gone through the window. You need to put a sign for everything they can and cannot do because these idiots are not able to think for themselves. Hey, boss. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no,
hey boss, maybe there should be a sign like across, a, a, across the hall says employees only. Maybe you guys should have a sign like that on that door if you wanted to be that way. Look, ma'am, I'm sorry to look, ma'am, I'm sorry to bring this on you. I know you're sitting down calm. We just walked in the door. I don't know what he's talking about, breach of security. We, we walked by him, we said hello, we were nice to him. He barreled back in the door, accusing me of being in commission of a crime when I'm not. I tried to point out that the sign says something about visitors. Yes. Man, how, A109. how can I make it to your check-in yes. spot to check in unless well, I walk through the door? It doesn't make any sense. But he instantly busted in the door accusing me. He busted in the door accusing me of being a commission of a crime. And when I try to explain myself, he's just like instantly being a dickhead. But then he wants to get mad at me when I get worked up. It's like, so you can be a dickhead, but I can't be one either. The door is always locked. The comptroller did that. I got yeah, you. So well, what happened? When we walked up, it, it, it was, was open. open. Okay. Like, he's he's saying it as if we stood outside the door and waited for him to walk out and snuck in. We just walked up. We walked up and walked through the door. We walked across the sidewalk over there, and there's signs that say employees only. So we didn't walk into that building because there's signs that say employees only. We walked in this door because it didn't say that at all. But, but when I have someone busting the door, accusing me of being in commission of a crime, it's going to upset me. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not unreasonable. I'm not a dick. I'm not a dick. I'm not a dick. I appreciate you. I'm not unreasonable, you know what I mean? But when I have people approach me in a hostile manner, like being ignorant, like I don't I don't need that. You know what I mean? That's just unnecessary. The door is always locked, so that would happen if somebody was to walk out and get closed correctly. Yeah, he, he happened to walk out as we were walking up the stairs. It wasn't like it yeah. yeah, it wasn't it wasn't like it was something that was done nefariously or something like that. It just happened to work out like that. Yes. But instead of explaining himself, he busted in the door. It's like there's a lot better ways. Hey, gentlemen, I know that the door was open when you guys just walked up, and there's a sign that does say that. But if you can walk around to the other side, or if we can walk through and speak to the officer, I get that. But when you bust in the door talking about you're committing a crime, you're this, you're that, people are, people are obviously going to be hostile. You know? That's just crazy. So, yeah, it's just wild. That's all, man. Okay. Mom's What's your name? Officer Grove, What's going on, brother? How you doing? What's going on? Nice to meet you. What's so up? I went out the door, and the, as that door was closed, and they grabbed it before it closed. This guy is a police scanner. Not realizing that it isn't a door for public or any use. Yeah. Right. So I came in, I said, oh, like we called piggyback from our security training. So I came back in and said, hey, guys. He didn't like say, he, hey, guys. You know, he first was I not he did not say, hey, guys. He busted in the door and said, you guys just breached security. No, no man, you can back your tape up. And yeah, we will. It's all it's all videotape. So then they came in and they, I asked, they said, you got to go to security. That's why we're depressed. I said, well, you need ID. They refused to see the That's security not in the beginning. And it just escalated with his first off, mouth. Okay. First off, he never said he was pressed. He asked if he was pressed. And he said, yeah, it okay. says pressed. Second off, this guy said that we need to come speak to the officer to check in. I said, obviously. But how can we get to the desk to check in without walking through the door? Right. You can't get to this desk without walking through the door. Well, you come through the front entrance. Okay, and, and in, in my defense, we were just across the hall over there, and the other building said employee entrance only. So we did not try to walk through that door. When we walked up these stairs, there's no sign that says anything about employee entrance, unauthorized entrance, anything. He happened to just have walked out of it as we were walking up the stairs. We said hello to him. We were nice to him. It's not like... like it was. Okay, okay. But, they, but, the way, but the way he tells the story is that we sat outside the door and waited for someone to walk out and snuck in. Like, we piggyback security. It just so happened to happen that way. But when he came back in, he was a loose okay, cannon. So, and so. A loose cannon. Yeah, okay. It sounds like Taco Terry is projecting again because a loose cannon describes him and Kevin so well, it's unbelievable. All right, so here's what we have to do. We have to walk outside. Walk back around. And walk, walk back around. That's and fine. You can, you can do your business. That's fine. We'll walk back around. Side of the building. But we're already here. Why can't we just, we can't we just walk? Like I mean, we're already in here. here. Yeah. If okay. You so, so, you know, so if you're, if you're going to go and, just, and, and that's it, then that's fine. You can do that. Yeah, Otherwise, I'm checking out the public art installations and that's it. There's also like the, okay, the treasurer's so, office so in order, down there. In order for that to happen, you have to, you have to check in with the guard. Yeah. And she has to be able to give you permission. <laughs> Okay. Whoa, whoa, and hold on. Yes, now. yes, yes. That's literally how that works. 
had to be given permission to go to that office down there and get help? Absolutely. 100%. The only place that's public in this building is that front portion of the lobby. Okay, that's we'll it. check in. Gotcha. We'll, we'll, we'll check, check in. And then so, and then Miss Brenda here, she would have to give you permission. But considering the situation, we get some pizza? I don't think that would be wise at the moment. Why? Well, so, what, so what let's, did, what so did let's we step do? outside. What did we do? It, it's it's how the situation has escalated. There's the, the certain people in the we, building. Has we didn't escalated. escalate the situation, sir. I, I'm just saying we need to step this outside. But now my and rights are being infringed upon because yeah, you're it's not it's not to escalate we're being being asked to step outside. We'll take care of step outside. We're being asked to go right. outside. We're going to go outside. Well, no, he just said we got to go on this side and check in. That's yeah, all. we got to go around. He needs us to walk all the way around, or can we just walk through the outside? We'll take care of you have to deal with these gentlemen now. Thank gotcha. You. Okay. Really? So we can just we can just walk through that side. It's not we don't have to go all the way around the building. Yeah, that's fine. Right. So we'll that's do. the comment area. All right, thank yeah. you. Chief? No, no, he's not chief. He's not chief. That's that's lieutenant. That's lieutenant Chadwick. All right, come on. So we so all we have to do is go out and then come back. And we can walk right back in. Miss Brenda, that's what. That's what. So we said. we just have to walk out the door and then walk back in, and we're okay to film. All right. Okay. Thank you, Miss Brenda. Holy cow! We don't need picture ID to sign in. You're fucking dumb. This is the guy who stole my car. Yeah. Yeah. This guy right here. Oh, look, they're gonna lock us out. Uh huh. They're gonna lock. That's exactly what he's gonna do. Chief? No. Or Lieutenant. Lieutenant. Mr. Chadwick, I don't want that to close on you. I'm fine. All yeah. right, cool. You know you have to show ID in this building. Yeah, yeah, sure. No, not not this public lobby. Miss Brenda you. just gave nope. us permission. Yeah, no, Miss Brenda just, no. Said, we Brenda just said we're fine, sir. Miss Brenda is the security Watch guard this. here. Miss Brenda does not make the rules. There, the rules call Omar. Yeah, yeah the building sure. manager said we're okay. Mr. Building Manager, sir, can you come here, please? He doesn't have permission to give you. No, he does. He does. No, he doesn't. He does. He, does. he, does. he has permission to kick us out. He, he has permission, permission to allow us in. Yes, he does, he sir. He says follow the procedures. And the procedures. Yeah, and the procedures, the procedures are that we're allowed to come into this are, area. I can't sign the law. Okay. The procedures are you have to show ID to enter yeah. any state. And when do we ever law. refuse to do that, sir? Well, that's no. No, no one ever yeah. refused. Wait, You're telling us we can't walk in the building. Okay. Gosh. So it looks like he was invited back in, but then Taco Terry decides to cut the video right then and there. He says he's going to make a part two and drop it in the next couple days, but it's pretty suspicious that he's cutting it at this point. I wonder what he's trying to hide. Maybe he's going to do some editing to edit out some embarrassing moments. Who knows? Anyways, that's it for the video. I just wanted to share the news that once again, Taco Terry is prowling the streets, impersonating a human with a man-child that is impersonating a journalist. So thanks so much for watching, and don't forget to try out Aura for free for 14 days by using my link in the description. Thanks again, and I'll see you guys on the next one. I live here!